Good morning, dear students. Welcome to this online lesson. Today we have a story lesson, Beauty and the Beast, chapters five and six. Let's start with a quick summary about the last four chapters. We know that Beauty went to the beast to save her father's life. Do you know when did the father and his daughter go to the castle? Supers, they went after five days. In chapter four, the dream, Beauty dreamed of a handsome young man. He was a prince. Now, I want you to tell me what did the prince ask Beauty in the dream? Do you remember? Excellent, all of you. The prince asked, asked Beauty to find him and save him. Then Beauty woke up and she started to search for the prince. But she found the beast and he asked her a very important thing. Can anyone tell me what's the answer? The beast asked Beauty to marry him. What did Beauty answer? Who can tell me? Okay, Beauty said, you are kind, but I don't love you, you, and I don't want to marry you. What did the beast do when he heard the answer? Okay. He let out a roar of anger and pain. Now, let's have a look. These are our new words today for our two chapters, six and five. Let's have a look. Let's start. Chapters five and six, and the, hour, the first word we have, look at these pictures and guess, try to guess the word. Yes, this word is discover. Who knows the meaning of the word discover? The exact meaning of the word is to find out something that you didn't know about it before. So it means you know something new. So this is our new word. Let's say it again, discover. So the word is discover. Let's go to the other word. Look at these pictures. Yes, this is pick up. Pick up means to lift something. You take something up. It's like this boy, he is lifting or picking up this flower. Let's go to the third word we have today. Huh. What can you see here? Yes, here there is a lot of clothes. So where can we put our clothes? Who can tell me? Yes, this is a wardrobe. So wardrobe is a piece of furniture like a large cupboard you put your clothes in. So let's say it one more time. Wardrobe. Wardrobe is a piece of furniture uh, like a large cupboard you put your clothes in. Thank you. The other word. What is this word? This man, there is sun, and he, the sun hurts him. So what did he do? He, yes, he turned his face away. So our word today is turn my face away. Thank you. So these are our words today. Our words, we have just four words. Okay. Now open your... 27, chapter 5, The Strange Room. This, this is the chapter. Listen now to the story. I want you to listen. Chapter 
Chapter 5 The Strange Room The beast frightened Beauty, but he made her sad too. He seemed so unhappy. She went back to her storybook and tried to forget about him. She didn't know what else to do. That night, Beauty had another dream about the prince. This time he was unhappy. Beauty, my beauty, why are you unkind to me? I love you so much, why do you hurt me? His eyes were full of tears and Beauty felt a pain in her heart. It was such a sad dream that Beauty woke up. She sat up in bed. What have I done to the prince? Why is he so sad? I hate to see him like this. What can I do? She remembered the other dreams, and she still didn't understand. They are only dreams after all. The reality is this castle, and the beast. Beauty got up and went to look around the castle again. I wonder what I shall find today. She found some stairs and went up them. When she reached the top, she found a door. Beauty opened the door and went inside. What a strange room. Everything is old here. Old toys, old furniture, old pictures. I wonder where they came from. She picked up one of the pictures. I can't believe it. It's the prince. A picture of the prince. So he is real. It certainly was a picture of the prince. He was exactly the same as the one in her dream. Even the clothes were the same. But where was he? And why was he in her dreams? She remembered how lovely he was, and she wanted to see him again. And she remembered his message in the dream. Things are not the way they seem. And she remembered the other part of the message. Please don't leave me. Save me. She went to many more rooms, but they weren't interesting anymore. She wanted to look for the prince. Eventually it got dark, and Beauty went back to her room. The fire was bright, and the meal was on the table for her as usual. She ate the meal and sat down to read her book. Again the door opened, and the beast came in. Hello, Beauty. Hello, Beast. Did you enjoy your day? Yes. The castle is full of lovely things. I was very happy. She decided not to tell him about the prince. Tell me, Beauty. Do you really like being here? Oh, yes, Beast. And do you like me? Oh, yes. You are very kind to me. She decided to be more friendly to him, so she asked him a question. Beast, what do you do all day? I never see you in the castle. Have you got any friends? The beast walked to the window and sat down. Then he turned round and said sadly, Beauty, do you love me? Will you marry me? She knew she didn't love him. Say what you feel, Beauty. I only want your honest feelings. I... I... don't love you. You are very kind. I like you a lot. I don't want you to be sad or lonely. But the truth is, I... I must love the person that I marry. And so, I don't want to marry you. The beast stood up quickly. He turned his face away from her, then he walked out of the room. Chapter 6 The Mirror Beauty watched the beast as he left the room. She felt sad for him, but she didn't love him. She tried to read her book.
Chapter 6 The Mirror Beauty watched the beast as he left the room. She felt sad for him, but she didn't love him. She tried to read her book, but she was too worried about the beast. Maybe I should marry him, to make him happy. But I can't. He told me to tell him my real feelings. I must tell the truth. Father told me always to keep my promises and to tell the truth. But when she thought about her father, she felt sad again. She missed him so much. Poor Beauty. She felt worse and worse. Her father was not happy, the beast was not happy, and she was not happy. She tried to forget all the sadness, and she looked down at her book. A tear fell onto the page. Another one, and then another. Beauty went to bed and cried herself to sleep again. In her dream, the prince came to her once more. Thing you see, find me life and save me. The dream ended, and the next thing she heard was the clock waking her up. Beauty thought about his message. What did it mean, and where was he? Many months passed. Beauty discovered a new room every day and new things to make her happy. She played all day. Every evening the beast visited her, asked the same question, and she gave the same answer. And every night she dreamed of the prince. His message was always the same, but she still didn't understand it. As the days went by, Beauty noticed something. She wasn't frightened of the beast anymore. His voice was strange, but no longer terrifying. And although his face was certainly very ugly, when she looked in his eyes, she saw that he had real feelings in his heart. The beast often came to visit her and asked her about her day in the castle. One day, something strange happened. Beauty opened a door in one of the long hallways and walked into a golden room. There was a golden table, a golden wardrobe, and a big golden bed. I wonder who sleeps here. Maybe this is the beast's bedroom. She opened the doors of the wardrobe. They certainly were not the beast's clothes. Inside the wardrobe, there were the most magnificent clothes. Dresses, robes, hats and crowns. Beauty picked a dress. It was golden with beautiful big pearls. She put it on, went over to the mirror, and looked in it. It was beautiful. She looked like a queen. If only my sisters and my father could see this. Oh, I miss father. I wish I could see him. Suddenly a cloud appeared in the mirror. What is happening? Beauty put her face closer to the mirror, and the cloud cleared away. But the bed was not the same. Now it was a simple wooden bed. It was a bed for a country cottage, not for a castle. It was her father's bed, and he was lying in it. His face was white, and he looked terribly ill. Beauty cried out. Father, don't die! Wait for me! I'm coming to take care of you! Chapter 7 Beauty Visits Her Father Beauty ran from the golden room back to her own room. She lay down on the bed and cried. When the beast... Okay, so this is the end of chapter 6. Let's say it again and see the most important parts in this uh, chapter. Beauty fought with the beast. So this chapter first is called The Matter. So this, the important thing here, the matter. Do you think is it a, a real matter or there's something about this matter? Is it magical somehow? Okay, nothing like this. So, what about the beast as he left the 
moved, she couldn't catch her head but still flung her. Try to eat her food, but walk to her without the beast. The beast took Alicia to make him happy. Could he be her leader? As to the beauty, the thinker, the beast took Alicia to pick him happy, but I can't. He comes to the place to my wasn't happy, Beef was not happy, and she was not happy. She tried to forget all the, the sadness and she looked down at her boots. She was thinking about the end of the question. What did you see in the third dream? So we see the first dream. What did the, the, uh, the prince tell you? The first dream? Yes, he, he, uh, he talked. Her to you, find him and take the him. It's about the second dream. The second, the second dream. The beast, uh, the, the prince, the beauty, 